The next thing I want to do here just real quick is introduce you to adjusting a traverse, balancing coordinates, and uh, raw data, displaying raw data. So I'm going to come into the traverse view, and I'm going to say I want to balance coordinates and just get rid of that linear error. So notice the square feet and acres, 44,014.39. I'm going to balance coordinates using the compass rule. I'll leave the elevations turned on. And now my area has changed just slightly. Okay. If I come back to the drawing view and simply refresh that, okay, I see it redraws with the current area. And if I come back to my traverse manager and just open this up a little bit, I see that Traverse PC updates the area as well. And I'm not seeing the change here in the acres because I didn't change it that much. But if I came in here and included square feet, I would. So let's put B in there for square feet. And now Traverse PC comes in and displays the same square feet here, 44,012.99, that I have in the closure view. And if I want to show that same acreage here, I can simply come in, double click, go to the square feet, and say I want X number of decimal places so that it matches what I show elsewhere. So a great way to keep all of this data uh, coordinated. Now, the last thing I want to show you in this video is I want to go back to our D data traverse. And I want to show you that I now am looking at the adjusted data. So this distance of 163.5 has been adjusted. This distance of 291.03 has been adjusted. These bearings have been adjusted. Okay. These are now the inverses between the adjusted coordinates for that lot. I want you to know, however, that all of the raw data that I entered is still there. And I can switch between raw data and inverses with this command, Shift F9, or Display Raw Data in the View menu. So let's go ahead and execute that. And do you see here are all my original bearings with zero seconds? Here are my original distances. I'm just going to press Shift F9 again and I'm back to my inverses. When I display raw data, I only see the data I entered. So I only see the coordinates I started with, the curve data, the courses, bearings, and distances I entered. When I shift 9 and display inverses, which is the normal mode, I see all the computed data as well. And then I just want to show you very quickly that I can come back anytime, undo the adjustments, and Traverse PC puts me right back where I was a moment ago. Okay with all of my original data, and I can simply come back to the drawing view, and the next time I refresh it, I have my unadjusted areas, and back in my Traverse Manager, I have my unadjusted areas. So really a neat way to work with data, uh, whether I'm correcting the number that I've entered, the Traverse PC lets me do that, or if I've come in and adjusted something and I don't like the way it uh, turned out, I simply unadjust it, and all my raw data is there to recompute that traverse.